Hi guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Sully Pad. Hey, finally this trip is going to happen. Ah, uh, just has been waiting for a while on this. I want to thank all of the donors that uh, helped get the parts for these and uh, some of the oil. Ah, uh, finally, finally this trip is going to happen. So, hey, without further ado, I'll see you at Mike Moffitt's. Stay tuned. Here we go. <laughs> Three days later. And just like magic. <sighs> they left the shop open, so I guess I get to use it. Oh, well, these things are very heavy. Mike has a plan. He walked over that way. We'll see what his plan is. Oh, I hear something with a the motor. These things are very heavy, so. Oh. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mike. That was easy. You're not going to get me to lift those things anymore. <laughs> As Mike does a little inspection, I just want to go over some of the things that you will need. One quart of the uh, gear oil, and that is 85,140. And I use that in the planetaries. Planetaries, all right. And, and then you have uh, five gallons and I believe this was uh, 8090. That's 8090. Yep, 8090. Uh, oil, gear oil, and some high temp wheel bearing grease. A couple other things, let me show you. All right, you're also going to need about a quart. This is uh, actually a half gallon of lacquer thinner, a couple of rolls of shop towels. And Mike did ask for black RTV, but I've, you know, I couldn't find enough black, so I've got um, black, I've got red, and I have blue. And I also got some PV blaster. He didn't ask for this, but I got it anyway because I know the OMTV. And I got some sea foam. So when I'm going 45 and it's actually going 65, well, I don't know. I just got some sea foam. 14 and 43 is our tooth count. We can look at this gear set that I've already checked and it says 14 and 43, which is 3.07. <laughs> so this allows us to check the backlash where it's sitting, make it convenient to work on. And then we put it back in and duplicate the same backlash. Oh, that's easy. And the backlash is the clearance between this gear and that gear. And you'll probably hear that. Well, this is a dial indicator. Not everybody's going to have one. But if you need one, jump on Amazon, buy one with the magnetic base. In the world of Amazon, everything's cheap now. And this is just clunky old junk. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the front differential spins backwards. And we'll confirm that when we take it out. Central tools may not even be in business anymore. This is an elderly tool. It belongs to an elderly person. Do you resemble that remark? I absolutely do. Well, it looks to me like you got 16 and a half, which is getting close to the outer limits. Hmm, okay. I like, that... like to snug them up a little bit so they don't rattle. So is that a shim? No, what, what, um, is, what do you? You do adjust that clearance with these rings here. Ah, uh, okay. okay. And now you adjust the pinion depth with shims underneath the uh, pinion carrier. Okay, now I'm getting 15. Now they need to be checked in several places because they may not be consistent. 
just a pretty. You just want to roll a slack. You don't want to do any more than that. And there we got 11. So there's eight thousandths run out, eight thousandths difference in the backlash. So yeah, it's brand new. Outside of my price range. Okay, these caps are match mated. You can't take this one and put it over there or that one and put it over here. They're, they need to go back in the same place they were. So sometimes they're marked, but I usually get bored looking for them and I put my own on there. This has a dot and that has a, sl has a swish. Do you think I'll remember that? No. This still has the hard grease in here from when they put it together. Come on. Mm. Grab it out. Yeah, if you can get a hold of it. I couldn't. There you go. These are really difficult. The locker goes in. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure that you take out all of these thrust washers. Because if you leave these in there, it won't unlock. And there's some up here on the fighter gears too. Oh yeah. So all of those come out? Everything. Okay. And then you take this, and you look back up here and see where you mark this. Right there. And that goes back on just like that. Where are the other marks? Okay. If you're a believer in red Loctite, please throw mm -hmm. it away. I've had so many instances where I ran into something that somebody put together with red Loctite that you couldn't heat it up enough to get it apart and it turned into destruction. So just medium strength is just fine. things in fact that one there is there punched out so you can see it's got kind of a rounded side and a sharp side I generally put the rounded side towards the bolt Okay, let's get an axle out. 
Man, I can't even thank Mike enough. Uh, he is just a mechanic's mechanic. And if you don't grab the tools from him, he's on it, man. And, and he's going 90 miles an hour really hard for a YouTuber like me to even keep up with him. I keep having to say, could you say that again, but into the camera this time? Because he's just full of all of this wisdom. And I am so glad that he helped a noob like me. And uh, yeah, I, this uh, gear kind of thing is not in my wheelhouse. It's a little bit over my head. I understood maybe, I don't know, 10% of what he was doing. All right, maybe a little more, but uh, it was just a lot of fun. I milked Mike for all the information that I possibly could. And I wanted to share that with you so that you would know the, the secrets, the ins and outs of doing all this. And you know what? It, it actually turned out very, very well. The, the doggone gears went in just piece of cake. You're going to have to wait for that um, in the coming episodes. But please stay tuned. There's lots and lots of more to come. And it's going to be in a lot of detail. It's also not too late if you want to donate to this program. Help me pay for those gears and that locker and the oil and all the rest of that stuff that came with it. I would so much appreciate it. So if you're getting some good out of this and you really like this channel, I would appreciate it if you would help me out just a little bit. Thanks so much. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Thank you.